I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand how to convert degrees to radians and sketch an angle in standard position. We have six different angles and I will do a couple of them for you. The rest will be for you to practice. Question here is convert from degree to radians, sketch each angle in standard position. Now degrees to radians, what is the conversion factor? we know 180 degrees is equals to pi radians. Radian is a ratio. It really doesn't have a unit. We write radians, okay, but that's for convenience. Now we need to first convert these to radians. We are already given 300 degrees. We want radians. So what should we do? We should multiply by radian on the top and degree in the denominator, right? So we can multiply by pi over pi radians, of course, and 180 degrees. So degree and degree will cancel out. It's like conversion of units. So you don't sometimes have to think much about it. You know, at times I find when you think a lot, you get confused. Should we multiply by 180 or by pi, right? So which way should it be, right? You know, it is one whether you divide pi by 180 degrees. It is also 1 if you write 180 degrees over pi, correct? But which one comes on the top? It really depends how are you converting the units. If you want to convert from degrees to radians, radians comes on top, okay? So for each, multiply by pi radians, divide by 180 degrees. Then degrees, degrees cancel out you are left with radians as the unit, correct? So that's the basic. Now, second step, simplify. So when you simplify, let's divide by 10. We're left with 30 over 18. Both can be divided by 6. We get 5 here, and 6 goes 3 times. With the result, we get 5 pi over 3. So that is equivalent to 300 degrees in radians. Now let us see how to sketch this angle 5 pi by 3. So when we are sketching angle in standard position, then where is the initial arm? Initial arm is always along positive x-axis. So that is your initial arm. Now 5 pi by 3. How to do that part? You think like this. It is pi by 3 is your basic unit, the acute angle. And you need five of them, it's kind of fractions. So what we will do is, this pi will divide it into three equal parts. So let's divide like this, one part, two part, and three part. So that makes it pi by three, two pi by three, three pi by three, which is also equals to pi. But we need five pi by three, so we need to continue and divide the rest half also. So we get 4 pi by 3 and here we have 5 pi by 3. Correct? Now when the angle is positive, the direction should be counterclockwise. So from the initial arm, the terminal arm moves counterclockwise, 5 pi by 3, that's the position, and there you go. So this angle is 5 pi by 3 or 300 degrees. Correct? Now let's do the next one. Now here we have 405 degrees with a minus sign. Minus means clockwise direction. So we have to multiply by pi radius divide by 180 degrees to convert the units to radians. Let's simplify. We can divide both by 5. 5 times 3 is 15. 30 is 5 times 6 is 30. 5 times 8 is 40. 5 times 1 is 5 with a negative sign. They can further be divided by 9, so we get minus 9, and this goes 4 times. So it is minus 9 by 4. Okay, so we can write this as 9 pi by 4, right? See how I treat the radian angle. Pi by 4, 9 parts, right? That is how I read it. So that it becomes simpler to graph. Let's see how to graph it. As we can see, the acute angle here is pi by 4. 
So we'll divide the pi in fourths. It's with a negative sign. Negative, right? Pi is this part is pi, right? So pi by 4, this is pi by 2. This is pi, right? This is pi, 0 to 5. So if I divide it to half, it becomes pi by 2, and that is pi by 4. So let me just divide the whole thing diagonally. Each angle is pi by 4. We have to draw minus 4 or 5 or minus 9 pi by 4. Negative means clockwise direction and 9 pi by 4. So let's count. 1 pi by 4, this is negative. 2 pi by 4, negative. 3 pi by 4. 4 pi by 4, negative. 5 pi by 4, negative. 6 pi by 4, 7 pi by 4, negative. 8 pi by 4, negative. And this becomes 9 pi by 4, negative. Do you see that? So what really happened was, we started from here, 9 pi by 4. You have to move, since it is negative, clockwise. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So there you are. So this is minus 9 pi by 4, or you could say minus 4 or 5. Correct? So that is how you sketch the angles in standard position after converting them to radians, right? So I'd like you to do rest of the questions, that is 240 degrees, convert that to radians. Of course, to convert, you multiply by pi radians and divide by 180 degrees, correct? That is what you have to do for each. And then whatever you get, simplify it to write it in radians and then sketch as we did here. Remember, negative means the direction is clockwise Positive means counterclockwise. So this is counterclockwise and that is clockwise. So that is how you have to convert and sketch your angles. I hope it is clear. Thank you and all the best.